What is up, everybody? Welcome to Pub Sports Radio. Going to be talking some prize picks for UFC 284. A couple spots sticking out. Going to go through all of those before we get started. If you guys can please leave a like on the video, subscribe here to Pub Sports Radio. I'm getting out prize picks content each and every week. Um, also, be sure to check out prize picks. Sign up using promo code Pub Sports there. Be sure to, to do that. And yeah, I say we get into it. And we're going to start, as always, with the. Uh, significant strikes, and yeah, not really much sticking out here in the strikes, not a ton that I love. If anything, it would probably be the over on the Shane Young significant strikes, 60.5. I love the volume that Shane Young brings. He's landing 5.22 significant strikes per minute, um, but not something I really love. Uh, other than that, I don't know, not not much sticking out here. So I think I'm going to pass on these on these strikes this week because I can see a lot of fit. Like I could see... Jamie Malarkey finishing the fight. I could see Jack finishing the fight. I could see Krupp finishing the fight. So not a, a ton really sticking out. Maybe the Islam over 35 and a half significant strikes, but nothing I, I really love here. Uh, let's move on to the fight time. I like a lot more in this section here. Um, the first thing that I do like is going to be the Jimmy Krupp under on this fight time under seven and a half minutes. Uh, Jimmy Krupp's only been over that one and a half round mark. He's going against Alonzo Menafield here in a striker versus grappler matchup where on the feet, I think Krupp also is live for a knockout, but I think more so Menafield is going to be the knockout throughout on the feet. And then if this fight does hit the mat, I think Jimmy Krupp runs through Alonzo Menafield like a hot knife through butter. So it's going to be up to Jimmy Crew, whether he wants to get the fight down to the mat. If he does, I think he makes this look pretty easy, but um, it's going to be uh, kind of tough to take down Alonzo Menafield, who has a 91% takedown defense. And like I said, on the feet, both guys are live for a knockout, but I do see this finishing under seven and a half minutes one way or another. Um, see if anything else sticking out here. I don't mind like the, the Pedro under seven and a half minutes. He's a big favorite here, minus 300. And when Pedro's winning fights, it's in the first round. And both fights that he lost actually uh, went out of the first round. So I don't mind the under here, but it's not something I love. Also don't mind like the under in the Jamie Malarkey fight, the under 10 minutes there. I think it's kind of Prado early, Jamie Malarkey late type situation, but I could see it potentially sneaking into the third. So I don't love that, but I don't hate it as well. Um, and then Jack Della Maddalena under 10 minutes. I don't mind that as well, but what I really do like is going to be that Jimmy Crute under seven and a half minutes. I like that quite a bit. One of my favorite spots on the fight time. All right, moving on to the takedowns here we have um so a couple sticking out here i guess the first one that sticks uh, out is going to be the islam mahachev over two and a half takedowns the more here um i see him absolutely being able to take down volkanovsky i don't think volkanovsky is going to be able to stuff takedowns but i do think volk is going to be able to pop back up here or there i think this fight does get extended a little bit so i can definitely see over two and a half takedowns here i'm kind of leaning in like the the four or five takedown range for Mahachev here in this matchup. So yeah, I like that over two and a half quite a bit. I don't think he's going to take down Volkanovski and submit him right away. I think this fight is going to get extended. And like I said, I think Volkanovski is going to be able to pop back up here and there. So really like that over for the Islam Mahachev on the takedowns. Uh, see if I like anything else here. Um, not touching the Loma. Not touching the Tahugov. Not touching the Jack Jenkins. No, I think that's I think that's about it in the takedowns. I do like Mahajev quite a bit. I like that over. Uh, nothing else really sticking out. All right, we'll go to our fantasy score here, and here a couple things stick out as well. I love the the Islam Mahajev over fantasy score one hundred two point five. Like if he wins this fight, how does he not get the over here? I mean, he's gonna get takedowns. He has five rounds to work with. Um, his striking has improved as well. And like I said, Volkanovski has a good get-up game, so I see Volkanovski getting back up and leading to only more takedowns for Islam Mahachev. So I really like this over 102.5. That is something I'll be having in my lineup. Um, other than that, let me see if I got anything else here. So uh, I think that's a, about it. I guess another thing that stuck out, it's not something I, I'm in love with, but the under like 106.5 here for Jack Jenkins' fantasy score. Um, it's priced as if he's going to go out there and like completely starch Shanus. I know, I know Shanus lost in 30 seconds against Sadiq Yusuf, but I think it's a much different match. But I kind of see this getting extended, so I don't mind that under for the Jack Jenkins' fantasy points. Um, and other than that, not much else sticking out. We got Rodriguez 92, cool about 70. Uh, Pedro 97, Krut 94, Tafa 76, um, Madalena 100, Yair 105. So yeah, the spots I really do like though is going to be that Islam over in that fantasy score. 
I like the Islam over the two and a half takedowns as well. And then I also do like the, um, oh, there was one I, I, I missed, um, Shane Young, under, under on these takedowns against Blake Builder. I just don't really see why he would go for takedowns in this matchup, to be honest, and he's never gotten more than one takedown in a fight, and to for him to go out there and take down a very good grappler and Blake Builder just would not make a ton of sense to me. I mean, Shane Young's a, a really good striker. He's going to have the striking advantage, so it just wouldn't make sense if he went out there and Got multiple takedowns. I'm taking the under in the Shane Young takedowns. That was one that I, I did want to talk about, so I'm glad I remembered that. And then um, in terms of the fight time, I do really like that under 7.5 minutes in the Jimmy Croup fight as well. So those are kind of the four I really like, but talked about some other ones as well. Also, don't mind the Tuhugov under 14.75. I think he does go out there and finish a short notice. Elvis Brenner, who's making his debut um, on short notice. And I think we covered about all that. So, yeah, guys, um, check out Prize Picks. Use promo code PubSports. Lots of money to be made on Prize Picks. A good, a good amount of spots sticking out this week as well. Uh, let me know what you guys like down in the comments. Leave a like, subscribe. And, yeah, guys, talk to you soon. Best of luck for UFC 284. See you later.